So life is not a video game. You can't just carry a bunch of stuff on your person and expect to have access to all of it. So you've got to be more realistic about how you carry stuff. Okay, so I want to talk really quickly about two different ways to carry the buckler. Right now, I've got it in an active carry. There's the active carry, which means it's at the ready. I can use this at a moment's notice. I can quickly pull a quick draw weapon like this dagger. Or if I have a bit more notice before the threat shows up, I have enough time to pull my machete. My setup here is really simple. I've just got a belt attached with one zip tie. Should probably use something else, but it's what I have at the moment. It's just a belt attached to the buckler that allows me to carry it on my back. And it's, it's not noticeable, but it's accessible, okay? It's accessible. That's what I call the active carry. The problem with the active carry is that it can easily fall off. So you're gonna be holding onto it like a bag like a satchel or a backpack or something. This is the active carry. I would recommend active carry for situations like walking around in an unfamiliar environment. Let's say you're in the woods, you're in an abandoned city, you're in some kind of strange location that you're, you could perceive threats from any direction. You might need to deploy your buckler at a moment's notice. That's when you use the active carry. Okay, so you've got two carries. You've got the active carry, which I'm doing right now. And then you've got the passive carry. Passive carry is when you would actually put it away, kind of carry it like this. It's not gonna fall off, it's not gonna go anywhere, but you can't quickly deploy this. And with my bulky jacket, it's actually kind of hard to get in and out of this carry. But if I was doing farm work, working in the garden, moving rocks and sticks around, cutting wood, something like that, if I didn't want to set the buckler down in a familiar location, maybe I'm at a campsite and I want to keep it on me just in case, well then you'd want to use the passive carry. But obviously the passive carry, you're not going to be able to deploy it. Like dude, look at this. Especially with this bulky jacket and this belt just isn't long enough. I'm just working with what I have. But this carry, the buckler is not going anywhere, but it's also not going to be deployed easily, okay? If I wanted to use this, I would have to pull it forward and get it out from around me. So life is not a video game. You can't just carry a bunch of stuff on your person and expect to have access to all of it. So you've got to be more realistic about how you carry stuff. So the active carry, active carry solves those problems. The only thing about the active carry is that you can drop it pretty easily. So you want to keep a hand on that. No one can really tell what you're doing. I've open carried my buckler like this several times. No one noticed, no one cared. Just coming back from the store. Here's my proof. Just went to the store right there. And just for posterity, took the buckler pill. But that's one of the reasons why the buckler is so useful because it's very lightweight, easy to carry. And actually it's not very noticeable at all. Most people will just think you have a backpack and the truth is most people are so fluoridated and pacified nowadays that you could walk by with all kinds of equipment and they wouldn't even do anything. So right here, I'm just gonna demonstrate deployment of the buckler from the active carry position. So the active carry position, just over the shoulder, it's ready to go. I'm just reaching back and grabbing it. That's it, it's super easy and as I do this, Notice how the strap is actually staying around my arm. That's gonna prevent it from hanging down and potentially being hit by an enemy or grabbed. So I like keeping the strap kind of wrapped around and then you can easily just get back into the carry position and be on your way. So that's the deployment right there. You're, you're just, it's almost like pulling out a pistol or something. You're just, you're standing here, you're reaching back, grabbing that handle and deploying up front that gives you enough that gives you enough distraction time if you're suddenly engaged in combat or some kind of animal attacks you i'll actually go to my animal training stump right there and show you what i mean let's say you're traversing the bush 
you're in a bush environment, woodland environment, you've got your buckler in an active carry position because you never know when some kind of animal might attack you, right? So let's say out of nowhere, coyote, vicious coyote, vicious fox, vicious creature, demon, goblin, it attacks you, right? Some creature is gonna attack you, you're immediately, you're gonna try to keep your distance. But all you wanna do, I'm just gonna get this in front of that animal and bash the shit out of it. I'm just gonna smash its face in. So you're just in, 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 and that's gonna give you enough time to pull out a quick weapon and just kill it. That's all you're gonna do. This is not theory. This is not historical European martial arts. This has nothing to do with style or technique. This is just pure action. If I'm standing in some unknown location, I'm in some woodland environment, and a creature comes out of nowhere and is trying to kill me, well, I'm not thinking about manuscript I-33 or whatever it's called. I'm not thinking about what guard position am I going into. That's nonsense, that's just a LARP. All I'm thinking about is get this thing in front of that animal's teeth and bash its skull. That's all I'm thinking. Get away from it or bash its skull. Get my weapon out and kill it. You notice that I'm grabbing my quick access dagger and I'm not trying to go for the machete. So the reason why is because the way my machete is set up in this sheath, it's harder to access quickly. It's something that takes a bit more thought to deploy. It's not something you can grab easily, but this dagger, easiest thing in the world to deploy, and it's big enough to cause some damage to an attacking animal. So this is purely about the active carry deployment of the buckler. If some animal attacks me, all I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do anything fancy. This has nothing to do with video games. This has nothing to do with movies and Hollywood propaganda. This is purely a survival situation. I've got my buckler. I'm, I'm just alert. I'm not ready for any type of combat. Something shows up, I'm here. I'm here, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm smashing it, I'm smashing it, I'm smashing it. That's it. That's it. It's not Hema. It's a frantic kill. That's the whole maneuver. That's all I'm going for. There's no flashiness. There's no showing off. The animal doesn't care what techniques you know. All it cares about is does it have a face or not. And if my buckler has anything to say about it, it's not gonna have a face for much longer.